Hello students. Today I will describe about work. You know that in ICC the chapter second chapter is work power energy. So I will discuss about work. That is the first part of chapter two. I can call it as two A. So first we will start with the definition of work. What is work? when we apply force on a body and that force causes some displacement s and the angle between them is theta see the diagram this is the force this is the displacement and this is the angle between them theta then work is equal to fs cos theta f into s into cos theta if we talk about the definition we say a force is applied on a body causing a displacement s and then it is said that the force has done some work and the work is measured by the product of force and displacement so the now the expression is work is equal to fs cos theta f is the force s is the displacement obviously the magnitude of the displacement and theta is angle between the force and the displacement now few cases occur first is work done by the force theta is equal to 0 degree therefore cos theta cos 0 is 1 and w is equal to fs so here this is called work done by the force that is the force and the displacement are in the same direction and angle between them is 0 degree so w is equal to fs that is the expression Sometimes the work is done against the force. When we lift a body vertically up, then the work is done against the force. And that in that case, theta is equal to 180 degree. W is equal to Fs into cos 180 degree. Value of cos 180 degree is minus 1. So Fs into minus 1, that is minus Fs. Example, I have given lifting a body against gravity. Third case, no work is done even if f is not equal to 0, s is not equal to 0. Obviously, if f is 0, total work will be 0. If s is 0, total work will be 0. But this is the case when f is not equal to 0 and s is not equal to 0, still the, there is no work. A coolie has kept load on his head and moving. A person is walking on a leveled road with a suitcase in his hand. And number three, number C here, planetary motion. You see here all these cases, f and S are at right angle. So in all the above cases, theta is 90 degrees. So work done is Fs cos 90 degree means cos 90 is 0. Therefore work done is 0. So no work is done in these cases. Even if F is not equal to 0, S is not equal to 0. Work done. Next case. Work done to lift a body against gravity. That is the that case example I have given. That is work done against the force. This one. But still... I am discussing this one because work done to lift a body against the gravity that is called gravitational potential energy. And how will you calculate it? F into that is work done W is equal to F into S. Okay. And F is mg weight of the body. And S this S that is a displacement that one is equal to H height. This height that is the displacement. So mgh. Expression is MGH. Now the units of work. Units CGS unit of work is arc here G arc, and SI unit of uh, work is joule. Since this is the name of the scientist, in the name of the scientist, small J you have to write small J O U L E. Okay, and their relation you have to find. So what is the arc? Arc is when one Newton force is uh, sorry when one Dyne force acts on a body causing a displacement of 1 cm. The work done is 1 arc. What is 1 joule? When 1 newton force acts on a body causing a displacement of 1 meter, then the work done is 1 joule. And relation? Relation is 1 joule is equal to 1 newton into 1 meter because 1 joule is 1 newton meter. So 1 newton into 1 meter and 1 newton is 10 to the power 5 times. 1 meter is 100 centimeter. Therefore, this is 10 to the power 7. So 1 joule is 10 to the power 7 arc. So this is the discussion of work. 
that is the one third part of chapter 2 in ICC physics. Uh, I think you will be benefited by my discussion and try to give like as uh, wherever possible and try to subscribe the, my channel. You will be benefited throughout until your ICSC. Thank, thank you.